Cerium dioxin nanoparticles are used in a nano based diesel additive because they increase fuel economy. But the problem is that after uh, combustion in the diesel engine, all the physical chemical properties are expected to change. So from these new properties depend biological and environmental impact. The main goal of the project is to better understand if uh, the exposure to combusted cerium dioxin nanoparticles induce genotoxicity on reproductive health. And also to understand if the mechanism of interaction between combusted nanoparticles and cells are the same compared to uh, pristine nanoparticles. At the beginning, I extracted the cerium dioxin nanoparticles from the Envirox nano-based diesel additive. I combusted them at 850 degrees, that is the average temperature of combustion in a diesel engine. And then I used these nanoparticles um, to exposure in vitro uh, human and rat gametes. Then I used genotoxic tests, that is the comet assay technique. It means that all the DNA fragments that are damaged in the nucleus went out from the nucleus and they form like a comet. And the percentage of DNA in the comet corresponds to the percentage of DNA damaged by nanoparticle exposure. We also detected the production of reactive oxygen species by using a probe and analyzed by flow cytometry. And at the end, we combined these biological assays with 2D and 3D microscopies. So we used the electronic microscopy, but also X-ray computed nanotomography to analyze the biodistribution of nanoparticles within cells. The main uh, first result is that the exposure to the nanoparticles induce genotoxicity toward the germ cells, human and rat germ cells. My project is about um, interdisciplinarity between biology and physical chemistry of environment. So that's the reason why we decided to uh, reproduce a pond ecosystem. The main goal is to understand if the mechanism of interaction with these nanoparticles and reproductive cells of aquatic organisms is the same mechanism of interaction that we detected in humans and in rat germ cells. In fact, I would like to continue my research in this field to better understand if we can decrease the exposure to the nanoparticles.